With just a handful of basic bolt-on modifications, these engines can support nearly 400 wheel horsepower and 400 wheel torque. Hey everyone, Jake from 8020 Automotive here. Today we are talking about performance modifications for the Chevrolet Camaro 2.0 Turbo. The 2.0 Turbo is the Ecotec 2 motor. It is the LTG variant of it. And despite it being a small inline four cylinder, especially compared to the V6s and V8s that are traditionally known to come in Camaros, these engines are quite capable from a power and performance standpoint. Coming with 275 horsepower and 295 torque from the factory with just a handful of basic bolt-on modifications, these engines can support nearly four 400 wheel horsepower and 400 wheel torque, which is extremely good numbers coming out of a small four cylinder two liter engine. Let's go ahead and talk about the power potential and limitations of the engine. So the LTG engine is very strong. It does have a forged crankshaft. It is a single turbo direct injected engine and the stock internals can handle right up around 400 wheel horsepower before you start to run into internal issues. Above the 400 wheel horsepower and 400 wheel torque range is when bent rods start to become a concern. Concern, but also to push beyond those power limits, you're gonna need a turbocharger because the turbocharger caps out at about 350 to 370 wheel horsepower on pump gas and about 400 wheel horsepower using ethanol blends. Additionally, because it is only direct injected and doesn't have any port injection, the fueling system is not capable of running 100% E85. So if you do wanna push beyond the 400 wheel horsepower level or run a full E85 rather than a blend, you will need to upgrade the injectors and the high pressure fuel pump. So with all that being said, 400 wheel horsepower and 400 wheel torque is the safe limits of this engine. And we can get there without having to do any serious modifications. All it takes is a couple bolt-on modifications to be able to get there. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about the five bolt-on modifications. They're gonna get you right up to around 400 wheel horsepower. First on our list is gonna be tuning. Tuning is where all the big power gains are gonna come from. It's predominantly going to add power by increasing the amount of boost pressure that the turbocharger is creating and it's really going to be the building block for all of the other modifications everything else that we do is really to help support the turbocharger and the extra boost that we're adding via tuning with just a simple plug and play tuner you can easily get 40 50 60 plus wheel horsepower gains as well as 60 to 80 wheel torque gains where you really start to optimize with tuning is with custom tuning but that's a topic for another time so let's go ahead and now talk about some of the other supporting modifications that you'll want to do alongside tuning to maximize the benefits of tuning and to get close to that 400 wheel horsepower target. Second on our list is going to be a cold air intake as well as a turbo inlet upgrade. Upgrading the intake and the turbo inlet just helps the engine breathe a little bit better. Now that the turbocharger is producing higher boost levels, we need to supply the turbocharger with more air to make it more efficient and help it do its job. So to supply it with more air, we want a larger upgraded intake and a turbo inlet to let it flow better. And that alone is good for about 10 to 15 wheel horsepower. But most importantly, it's really gonna help the turbocharger operate more efficiently. And that's where power gains come from. Third on our list is gonna be an upgraded downpipe. You have two options here to go with a high flow downpipe or a catless downpipe. Catless does offer better performance gains, of course, at the sacrifice of emissions testing. The benefit of a downpipe is that it's gonna reduce all of the back pressure that's in the exhaust system because the catalytic converter sits inside the downpipe, what happens is the exhaust gas trying to leave from the turbocharger ultimately gets bottled up in the downpipe and then it actually creates back pressure and it works against the turbocharger. So it actually slows down your turbo spool and makes the turbocharger work harder. Additionally, it's gonna cause the turbocharger to produce a lot more heat. By upgrading the downpipe to high flow or catless, we're going to significantly free up the exhaust gas movement. It's gonna reduce back pressure, which will allow the turbocharger to spool more freely. It'll produce less heat, which is better for intake air temperatures and ultimately take stress off of the turbo 
which makes it more efficient and therefore it makes more power. Depending on which route you go with the downpipe, you're likely to see around 10 to 20 wheel horsepower gains here. It's honestly very important for turbocharger reliability and health as well. And so it's definitely a must have modification once you do tuning on these engines. Fourth on our list is gonna be an upgraded intercooler. Now you're not gonna notice a ton of power gains from an intercooler, but the factory intercooler is very small and inefficient. So once we add tuning, the intercooler becomes easily overwhelmed and that leads to a phenomenon called heat soak. Heat soak can actually take power away from your engine because what happens is you end up sending hot air into the engine. And so we need to upgrade the intercooler so that it has enough cooling capacity to be able to cool all of the air coming from the turbocharger so that we're sending cold air into the engine and not hot air. And this becomes more important with tuning as well because as we increase boost pressures and the turbocharger is working harder, the turbocharger produces more heat. An intercooler is a fantastic reliability upgrade, but it also allows for way more consistent performance. While you might not see massive power gains from it alone, you will see a lot more consistent performance and you won't experience any power losses caused by heat soak. The fifth thing on our list is optional, but it is a catback exhaust system. A catback is really only gonna add probably five wheel horsepower. It's just gonna help reduce back pressure within the exhaust system. And you know, that'll help free up turbo spool a little bit more and add some small power gains. It's really optional because from a cost to horsepower standpoint, it really isn't justifiable. But if you're looking for an exhaust system to make your car louder anyways, then it is a good way to get a little bit of additional power gains. From here, those are all the bolt-on modifications or all the things that you have to spend money on to do. The sixth thing that I wanna cover is the best free modification that you can do, and that is using ethanol blends for fueling. Like I mentioned earlier, the 2.0's fueling system can't handle 100% E85, but it can handle an E30 to E40 blend. And that E30 to E40 blend is what's gonna unlock a lot of additional power. And to be able to push 400 wheel horsepower on these engines, you will need to run ethanol blends because the turbocharger is gonna cap out at about 350 to 370 wheel horsepower just on pump gas. And so running an E30 to E40 blend is what's gonna be able to take that to the 400 wheel horsepower number that I've been talking about. To do this, you need to make sure that you're properly tuned for ethanol blends, but outside of having proper tuning for it, all you need to do is go to the pump and put some E85 in mixed with some pump gas. And that'll give you a blend that's good for 30 plus wheel horsepower when properly tuned. Ultimately, those four bolt-on modifications, excluding the catback exhaust system and E85 fueling are gonna be the key ingredients to producing a 400 wheel horsepower Camaro 2.0 turbo. These engines are very responsive to tuning and have great power potential despite being a small four cylinder platform. You just have to be careful from a tuning standpoint and from a torque management standpoint to make sure you're not pushing into the territory where bent rods and internal issues start to become a problem. To push beyond those levels, we're gonna be looking at internal upgrades, turbocharger upgrades, and fueling upgrades. So ultimately, pushing beyond 400 wheel horsepower is gonna start to cost five, 10 plus thousand dollars, depending on the level that you're trying to take it to. Whereas we can get to 400 wheel horsepower with just 1500 or $2,000 in modifications. And so that really is the sweet spot for these Camaros. That wraps up our video on performance mods for the 2.0 Camaro. If you guys appreciate this video, please click the like button, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for all of our future GM content.